what's going on everyone? Welcome back. So Melissa and I are out for first time ice fishing together. Right now, <gasps> ooh. <laughs> you gotta pay attention. <laughs> so as of right now, we're just jigging in the shack. It's pretty hot out, it's like 50 degrees. I was wearing a t-shirt before, setting up tip-ups, never done that before. But this lake is super weedy and kind of shallow. We're set up in seven foot and there's just a bunch of little dinky guys that we can catch. That's just kind of fun catching something. But yeah, there's a bunch of little perch in this lake. There's some decent sized bluegills and there used to be some decent northerns in here, but it kind of got fished out a bit. Lake's really known for its bass. Hopefully we can get a couple of those on the tip ups. That'd be fun. I know. For tip ups, they're actually set out kind of down a little drop off. Um, starting out in seven foot, like right here, and then down to about maybe 15 foot. We got about four of them out since we can have a couple lines out. So for what we have set out on tip ups, right now we just have some large shiners, but one of them is naked and I use, I like using that um, DK Magic powder for Northern just to see if they'll hit a certain color or bass hit a certain color. So we have orange, chartreuse and pink out to see if they're hitting something because if they're hitting one color more often then you can switch it up and Put that color on the rest of them and right now i'm trying to tie on one of those eighth ounce little um they're calling wonder uh bread jigs for a couple years they're that white and spotted color so we are evening fishing we got out here probably about 3 3 30 and We'll sit into dark a bit. Probably won't move around too much. There's a decent amount of people out. And yeah, we'll fish into the night. A little bit, we will go check the tip ups, make sure everything is out of the weeds and possibly put the lights on for nighttime. I got one! <laughs> there you go. Oh, I got one too. There we go. <laughs> I'm good. Ah! What's up with you and dropping your fish? Mm. Come on, perch. Come on, perch. <laughs> You're a little dinky. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, he's back in the water. I guess I'll show you the next one. I mean, there's some nice perch in here and gills, it's just a matter of the little ones get more um, aggressive and hit it first while the other, the bigger ones kind of like sit around and wait. So kind of have to like get through the gauntlet, you know? Way bigger one right there. Oh, I just missed them. Come back down, come back down. Aw, a little. A little gill. Bill. A little bill. A little bill. So like little pumpkin see look at the color on it. Yeah, he's like yellow. No. So I'm not showing the camera today. <laughs> Keep dropping them. You need to catch something? I don't there, know. <laughs> look at that little guy. Oh yeah. There's tons of these little ones. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> that's cruel. No, it's not. He's good. What is that? Little bluegill. Little bill? Yeah. Well, I had one on the whole time. I didn't even know it. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just waiting Ooh. for that northern to come in. I'm surprised he didn't break the line. Boy. <laughs> Slaying them. Look at this. <laughs> <sighs> They're just huge. Focus. Focus. Look at that. Just 
huge. Bait. They're hitting high and low. Oh. <laughs> they shouldn't even get skunks. Yeah, these are fun. Yeah. Always. Oh yeah, that one's a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, this one's like a little bit better one. Oh, nice. Oh, it's caught up in my transducer. <laughs> no big perch. <laughs> the biggest perch we've seen. <laughs> He's cute. I figured all the little ones were up higher. But I guess not. This one went right down to the bottom. Little baby. Little baby. Ah. Look at that little baby. Ooh, this one feels good. Yeah. Oh my oh, god! That's a bullhead. I was just bullhead. talking about that. <laughs> that's so funny. Well, I guess there's bullhead in here. I'm assuming they're everywhere, but I never caught one here. I never caught one through the ice, but. Oh baby. They get way bigger. Oh yeah. My grandma used to fry a full head. Really? Yep. Look at that guy. That's Ooh! One. Nice, babe. Is that a crappie? It's an interesting one. That's a crappie. Is it? Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. I never caught one through the ice. Aw, and you were just talking about nice. it! Nice. Let me see it. I've never seen a crappie paper mouth so the mouth gets really big like that because it's like super see-through it's pretty yeah little black crappie that's awesome little black crappie little black crappie oh i got it bring it up bring it up bring it up bring it up oh it's a good one holy crap look at it <laughs> look at it we're having a baby <laughs> baby Baby. So we're pregnant again. She's pregnant again. Numero dos. And we're looking at September. So yeah, kind of our little, gen or not gender reveal, but baby reveal. Announcement. Right? Announcement, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're having a baby. All right, so that is it for tonight. It's gonna start packing up caught that black crappie which was cool never actually pulled a crappie through the ice and i didn't even know there was crappie on this lake and got that bullhead it's another one i never caught before through the ice that's pretty cool yeah especially when we we're just talking about both of those yeah that just happened back to back no tip-ups okay and a bunch of little dinky perch and bluegill at least you got to catch something too yeah it was fun yeah, yeah. i mean better than being skunked Right. Probably could have caught bigger stuff on a different lake, but definitely came here, so we could catch some things, but yeah. We got to spend time together. We haven't done that. Yeah, with it being our first time out, and it's not freezing out. I mean, it's kind of cold now, but... Yeah, it was 50 degrees when we came out here earlier, so yeah, it's really nice. It's gnarly. And we're having a little baby. Well, yeah, thanks for watching. Go down below, like, and subscribe. That would be neat. And I'll probably be posting this on my YouTube since it's outdoorsy stuff. And then we are actually going to be doing more videos. We have a joint YouTube called The Ridgestead. I'll probably link that down in my description. But yeah, that's going to be all of our home stuff along with all of our goats, kiddo stuff. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.